Hey people, Ingrid here, PV3 Faction War this is, Ben Dunlock, Winter and Space Marines versus Imperial Guard. For the blue Space Marine team, Mustafa is a tech marine, starts off with a bolt gun, knows how to use it, can also support with structures and repair, white scars here, alongside Crazy Chairman 96 as an apothecary support hero fighting in melee combat by default begins with a heal, a passive health regeneration aura. Looks like the Dark Angels DLC recolored into... What is this colour? Peach? I don't know. Some kind of heresy going on. Round off the team is Inokura as a force commander. Very strong offence fighting in melee combat. Can also tank, disrupt and support the Red Guard team. It's Helion with a Lord General fighting in ranged combat. Begins with a retinue of Stormtroopers. Very strong defence and support can also add to this retinue. Death Corps of Krieg DLC. Alongside the Blast Furnace with a Lord Commissar, strong offense and support fighting in melee begins with a Refractor Shield going straight for the natural, no, the contested victory point, which had turned blue for Space Marines. And rounding off the teams, the Tenso with an Inquisitor offensive hero with powerful control abilities begins in melee, but can get specialized ranged weapons. And that is the Vostroyan Firstborn elite scheme there. What do you want to bet the Lord Commissar gets a power sword pretty damn soon? The red team do take the mid. Lord Commissar straight in on those tactical marines. The apothecary, of course, goes for the guardsman. Trying to get kills there on both sides. I think it's well worth... Oh, the scouts aren't here. Where are the scouts? I was going to say it's well worth the uh, Helion just trying to focus down the scouts with his firepower here. But uh, Mustafa sent them off somewhere. Oh, they're coming back out of base, I think. In the southeast, contested power is blue and loaded for the Space Marines being shot up by some LAS guns right now. Nothing out of the ordinary yet. Got heavy weapons squad on the way for the Tenso. More tactical Marines for Inokura. Devastators for Mustafa and Crazy Chairman. There's that health regen aura from the Apothecary. Everyone's nice and healthy. Apothecary is a little bit low on health, but I don't think they'll use a heal for that. I'm going to keep that off cooldown. Pushing forward here is the Tenso getting a decap on the wreck point. These guys might touch this power now. Yes, indeed they do. No gens on it. And it is going to be defended before it goes down. Especially with double attacks and their bolt guns. Dropping those guardsmen pretty quick. Force Commander can tie them up as well. Or maybe just like disrupt the hell out of the Inquisitor so she can't use the Hammer of the Witches. Looks like the Force Commander is going for her and they were just focusing her down there. She took tons of damage super quick. Back to the mid. It is a no cap here. 2v1 against... Nope, Mustafa's here with some Devastators setting up with a heavy bolter. Shooting up that Sentinel at close range, doing tons of damage. Can't suppress them, of course. This one needs some repair support, though. Those Guardsmen are dozing back there. Almost goes down, does go down. They were not repairing. I think the Blast Furnace thought they were repairing there. But they certainly weren't. Scouts drop a model for Inakura. But they managed to push through onto the Tenso. And the Chainsword and Storm Shield makes an appearance for the Force Commander. Great choice against lots of shooty Imperial Guard stuff. Speaking of, here comes some more. The Blast Furnace with some Catechon Devils. Hellion's also got some. Not sure where that heavy weapons squad is though. Looks like it was forced off. And that might be what prompted the chainsword and storm shield purchase because of the defend. Nullifying suppression. Can they get him on retreat there? Hadrogen Devils with power melee. Force Commander barely makes it out. Double tack still here, fighting strong. Don't have good cover though here. And they might get stomped. Yeah. The retreat goes in. They should all be fine. And they didn't lose their natural VP. I guess Tenso was trying to pivot towards the mid, maybe. Or just go straight through onto that power. That power's so close to the HQ, though. It's quite difficult to hit. Tech Marine is down over here. Did not notice. But indeed they are. Tax, have you leveled yet, fellas? No levels for the tax. You have a decent chunk of XP, though, because... You know, guardsmen are gonna die. Start shooting with the bolt guns. No power sword yet for Blast Furnace. Lord General wading into melee. I love the idea of him trying to persuade some stormtroopers with bayonets 
to charge sp <laughs> tactical space marines there. Good luck with that, fellas. I mean, one of them got away, I think. Tax run away. Scouts drop a model, then run away. Can they mount an offensive on the VP? It's been decapped. Here comes Devastators targeting the Lord Commissar. Throws up his shield, but can't get close with it. Does allow him to escape. This might be a melee grenade here. Are they waiting for the retreat? There's the grenade. They waited a little bit longer. They could have got a decent retreat grenade, maybe. But the guy's getting messed up here. Had the chin sort of got on him earlier, they would have got him in melee, I think. He gets away as it stands. Meanwhile, the Bostroyan first corner here. On your power with a heavy bolter. And the Holy Brazier's up for the Inquisitor. Gives her a power weapon. Power weapon is do extra damage to heavy infantry, such as these tactical marines. Also, a bit of extra damage versus a commander, I would think, compared to regular melee. Sentinel's very low here. Tenton needs to get the hell out of it. Devastators might in turn get flanked. Scouts run away. That's a spotter shell from Helion. They've got their own catechons, of course. Couldn't quite get around to cut stuff off in melee on retreat but it's charging forward here pathogens don't have a melee charge but they are very good in melee well for like a tier one guard unit anyway very scary to non-melee power armored fellas that's for sure sacred standard up in tier two for inakura constant damage buff around him 25 percent not bad this yellow buff you see here does affect allies as well 380 to 477 on the VP. Stormtroopers on the way. The Blast Furnace. Plasma Cannon time. Overshoots there. Another one on the way for Mustafa. You might see for the Emperor on this thing. That was a really good hit. I wonder if that would have wiped, wiped some stuff there outright if for the Emperor was on it. For the Emperor is a global buff from the Force Commander. Although, oh, they might not have enough. I think it's, it's in it. One, two, five. No, it's not that high. I think it's like 75 or something. The tax turned into Stone Guard veterans as one of them drops over dead. Devastator's getting shut down by the smoke shell there. Lord Commissar does not get away thanks to Hellfire rounds doing damage over time as he ran. Plasma Guardsmen here suddenly become massively dangerous for tactical marines. They're going to drop models, but they're also going to trade favorably in the end with tax. With those plasma guns, that is. Scouts wipe. Just a massive weight of fire there was enough to take him down, even on retreat. Lord General. No war gear for this guy. No retinue either. Well, no extra retinue. Nigel and Derek are there, of course, doing their work, doing their good jobs. Stone Guard, did you drop a model? They didn't drop a model. Librarian on the way for Inokura. Some more scouts on the way for Crazy Chairman. Little bit of momentum here for the Imperial Guard, but they need to get their VPs in order, because this one is blue. That's their natural, because of Inokura's good work on this side. Batching that noded power. Also grabbing a wreck point, Plasma Cannon laying in wait. Maybe they could have decapped this as well. They still have scouts, right? Where are the scouts? Oh, they're just saying, oh, they were capping the wreck point. Ogrins are here. The Tenso's got some Ogrins. Maybe silently. Yep, interrogator's armor is up. Rosarius also in play. Inakura scouts did not have the sergeant, so they can't spot those infiltrated Ogrins. I wonder if that will, if just that combo, is going to prompt the sergeant purchase. Did you get a power sword, buddy? No, Lord Commissar goes tier 3 against Space Marines and doesn't have a power sword. It's gutsy. I mean, it's a pretty damn good weapon, his power sword. Even if it's not full of power armor on the other side. For the Emperor was on the Librarian there, I think. That's pretty cool. O'Brien is just barging through stuff, sending tactical Marines fleeing. As they get their sergeant in, they got their bonehead leader, these guys. Which allows them to use user ed. 
because otherwise they can't. Force Commander flees. Now it's the Librarian's turn to, smake up, to take a smack in. He's alright though. I guess they can Power Bash now? Sure. They got some help from the Blast Furnace who is almost tier 3. Crazy Chairman's also gone though. Yeah, you see the red flooding the map now. Uh oh, Plasma Cannon just wipes out some Stormtroopers. Ouch, indeed. This power point's being taken back. Here's the defense from Inokura. Uh, I guess they lost all the gens though. They're being repurchased at least. Additions flee from the scary Plasma Cannon. Can he get another shot? I don't think he can. The librarian now has a staff. Maybe if they can get the uh, Force Barrier out quickly enough. But I think it has a little wind-up time. They can knock those Ogrin Ogrins around. Who are back at base. Healing up. Did they indeed get the Sergeant? They did get the Sergeant. No shotguns though. Maybe Inokura just doesn't want to spend more stuff in Tier 2. Wants to get their Tier 3 rolling. Speaking of Tier 3's rolling... Two players are in it, and Helion has just gone. And I always want to see if the Lord General has read for Lehman Rust Drop, and they don't at the moment. There's Veil vale of Time on the Tactical Marines to get them into some melee, stop those plasma gun shots coming in. Sentinel does barely get away. Ogrins, I don't think they're going to charge in alone. No. And where's the, sc oh, the scouts are over there? I know they couldn't spot them, even if they did get all silent. Of the carry. He's about to get Emperor's Wrath there. Tech Marine fell over again. Not sure if he has any war gear, this guy. I don't think so, unless that's the Master Crafted Bolt there. These are Crazy Chairman's fresh scouts who got a sergeant immediately. Inakuras are still level 1. Mustafas are still level 1. They've been mainly used for positional play and capping. Didn't see any shotguns and then dipping in and out of combat with a shotgun blast and stuff. I think everyone's genned up fully. Yeah. Might be worth repairing that generator a bit here. Although, triple cap is up. They want to maintain pressure, I suppose. Everything on mid map. Lord Commissar gets in on the devs. Where are the spotters? Are the spotters still alive? They are alive, I don't know where they are though. Oh, they're, they're in the northwest of the map. They are not on the mid. Smite goes in. Good shot on the Ogrins. Might see a grenade here as they're suppressed. Nope, no grenade. Lord Kamasar continues to get in on stuff. Hell Fury dropped in on the garrison to burn out those devastators. They're trying to flee. They do get away. The Red Guard decapped the mid. VPs are so very even. Here comes a Bane Blade for the Blast Furnace. Helion gets a Lehman Russ up. Force Commander levels to three. Artifice Armor in play. Librarian having a bit of trouble with the Sentinel Stomp. Now getting shot up. But all right, Sentinel does have the Missile Launcher. Who's gonna grab the mid here? Tacks are on it. Fast capping Tactical Marines are there. And I think they're gonna be able to do it. Pressure applied by the Force Commander to get these, just get these guys away from the VP. But they unleashed their plasma shots on the tax and they dropped their sergeant. Look at that. Poor sergeant fell over dead. Oh wow, they're getting messed up. Really messed up. A second more before that retreat. Like a second later retreat and they would have been dead. Hammer of the Witches on the Force Commander. Gets away though. The tax did cap the mid, but they're kind of standing there out of cover now. Meanwhile. They've lost their natural VP because of Lehman Russ. A vanquisher. Looks like Helion did pour this in because they have no red now. Well, very little red. So I assume it's all spent on this thing. That's my cannon. Big booms. They would have wiped back like three squads there if they had 40 Emperor on them. I mean, I doubt Inokura is even looking over here. They've got their own problems. The Vanquisher is an anti-vehicle weapon. Seems to be hitting terrain and stuff a lot. Well, hey, Terminator's coming in. 
Mustafa's got some Terminators with Power Fists and Storm Bolters. There's Tier 3. Inakura just hit Tier 3, I think. Land Red Redeemer on the way for Crazy Chairman. Bane Blade has gone mid. Looks like it's going mid. I mean, where else would he go? I don't think it's going to pressure the natural VP. Double cap for the guard. You got a weapon yet, buddy? No, nope, they've got carapace armor, though. Gives him some buffs when he uses Inspire Courage. Got the carrier's level 2, no war gear. Kind of a strange game. No power sword, Lord Commissar. No apothecary war gear. You'd expect to see advanced healing or something. Or something. They just really wanted that tier 3 quickly, I think, after they lost a bit of momentum. Crazy Chairman. And they got it, and they've got a Land Raider Redeemer on the way. Apothecary maybe makes it out. Lord Commissar's chasing. No, he goes down. That should be relatively male. Maybe easy to revive there, maybe. Depends how much pressure the Blast Furnace can apply here. Storm Lord on the way now for the Tenso. Bane Blade sitting mid. Here comes the Land Raider Redeemer in this weird colour stick. These guys can now retreat back to this so it could be a massive boom. Massive boom. Just makes them so much solider. Can retreat back to this and reinforce. Heal up. Terminator's being chased by things. Looks like they teleported far enough away to make it out. And the Stern Guard took that VP back. These are mines planted by the Lord Commissar. Can call them in. But they're being spotted by it. The scout sergeant there, so they're not going off. Aim bait is really low. Missile tax doing some good work, you know. Catachin's getting to melee though. Down goes the sergeant. Frag assault decimates the ogres. Down they go. They got messed up. Tax flee. Again, we did not see for the Emperor. I wonder if Inakura is trying to save up for Terminators of their own here. Assault Terminators to put some pressure on that Bane Bay. Some real pressure. That's going to get in shots now, Mr. Bane Blade. He is being repaired like crazy. But uh, he's not going to be able to repair everything. Some Terminators now for Crazy Chairman. Bane Blade getting very low. Sentinel can't really help out because it's so low. Lord Commissar comes in, trying to tie up something, anything, but gets shot to death. 175, 292. Can the Space Marines stabilize on the mid? Here comes a flank from Helion. Can they push at the same time through the mid? Not really. Bane Blade is too damaged to do so. Everything retreats back to here. A nice way to use the Bane Blade against Space Marines and a thing like this is wait for everything re to retreat back to the Land Raider and time a big Demolisher Cannon shot. The Blast Furnace can do the same kind of thing with this for uh, the Emperor's Wrath. So here's the Storm Lord. Tons of tons of anti-infantry Inferno PvP damage. As well as Laz Cannons and all sorts of Darker from Heavy Bolters and stuff. Can they stand through this, the Space Marines? In a current, needs to pop the defense, surely. Oh, they don't have the energy for it. Triple missile tactical Marines. Cyclo missile launcher. Terminators as well. Bane is down. They're getting it done. Just getting a few shots in and then retreating back. The Storm Lord is very low. Rocket run though. And a Manticore Strike. Helion continues to come in from the flank. They have another Lehman Russ. Land Raiders quite healthy still. Reinforcement drop came in there. Oh, now they have triple Lehman Russes. But down goes one. Just spam missile launchers. 
Time to pivot away from the vehicles, I think. Imperial Guard. Go get a bunch of Kashikin and Bulgrins up or something. Try to just bum rush the Space Marines. Space Marines are struggling to hold on to their natural, though. They've invested a lot in the mid. Double cap for the Space Marines. Inakura's down to two units, though. Just those double tacks. More Terminators of these. Oh, these are the same ones for Mustafa. That's a kind of friendly fire. Kind of nasty. Inakura has tons of red. Are they going to get Terminators? Not sure. I certainly would get some assault Terminators up, but they might want something weird. Unanted Power Axe in for the Apothecary. Trying to get that VP back. Neiman Russ is trying to say no. The Commissar might throw the Emperor's Wrath in. Bits off cooldown. Nope, it's going to come in for some melee. What's he up to? Oh, he's going for the Laz Cannon so the, so the Neiman Russ can get forward a bit safer. Peeking off in the mid again. A little bit. Laz Cannon's really doing work. Another Neiman Russ falls. These guys not have plasma guns, they don't have plasma guns. Kasakin on the way for Blast Furnace. Defend is up here. More attacks for Inakura. They just want more missile launchers, maybe. Manticore should get rid of the last cannon. Unless it just, well it's just going to re retreat back to the land raider, isn't it? Not a big deal. Land Raider made a, making a massive difference here. There's no way those tacks could have stood and traded like that. In that big mid fight if that Land Raider wasn't there. They were just getting a couple of shots and retreating a few feet and then coming back. Yeah, Inakura is out of requisition. Tons of tack reinforcers. It is indeed another missile launcher. Probably the safer thing to do, because they do have an Inquisitor. It's not that they have a Librarian up to support the Terminators. Assault Terminators, I would assume, anyway. Maybe Missile Launcher or Cyclone Missile Terminators would have been good for Inokura. Stormlord is back. Fully repaired, but not for long. Missiles just flying in. Last furnace really has to get plasma guns up, surely. They're getting a primary cipher and they have the Kasakin. And the Kasakin, oh, they've got grenade launchers here. Rocket run goes in. Orbital though on the Storm Lord. Triple cap space marines. Missile launchers doing work here. Huge amounts of it. Inakura just hanging out with them. Buffing them with battle cries and defends, they do get the Storm Lord. Is that it for the is that it for the guard? Well that Lehman Rust survived. They still have the Manticore, they have a primary Psyker now. Who got the I don't know what he got there. And they got two of them. Two Psychers up. Kasukin here. What are they doing? Are they are they wanna go for this VP, I suppose? Kasukin of Helion, they're going for plasma guns, which is straight up DPS. Grenade launchers let you disrupt. Sneaky catechins being sneaky. Inquisitor. Has not really got anti uh, anti terminator stuff much. I guess they've been busy getting other stuff. Oh, Primaris Psycho goes down. Sloppy play from Blast Furnace there. Shot down by those nasty storm bolters. Down to 55 VPs, Imperial Guard. That Land Raiders won the Space Marines the game, I think. And those missile launchers, of course. Unless they can shut them out on this VP. That's what Gun's doing work for those Kashikin. And here is an orbital. Can it hit anything? Yes, he can. Maybe. Oh no, Catechon's got away. Well, it hit the it hit the fourth commander. 
Level 9 Force Commander there. Double cap for the Space Marines. The Tenso is confused by something. GG anyways. Maybe someone dropped at the end or something. Grenade goes in. That was a nasty grenade. Holy crap. From the Kasukin. Double cap at the end. The Space Marines are going to take it. And the... The Land Raider made a huge, huge difference. Overpowered war gear, says Helion. Not sure exactly what they're talking about. We had Axe Mechanicum. Are they talking about Arm of the Apothecarian? Maybe because Helion was trying to take this side? I'm not sure. But the Land Raider Redeemer was amazing. These missile launch attacks were MVPs. Supported by that force commander. Yeah, who needs other stuff? Just get tactical marines with things. There's the remains of the storm though. There you have it guys. Thank you for watching. Big thanks to these players for taking part in a faction war. And the Tenso for bringing it to my attention. I'll see you guys next time.